In this video, we're going to see how to use Excel to clean and manipulate uh, the data before it's imported into Tableau. And the data set we're currently looking at is our crime 2015 data set. And uh, this is all the crimes that were committed in the year 2015. So before we even clean or manipulate the data, the first thing we should consider is ensuring that all the data that we imported from the city of Chicago data portal was actually imported properly into this Excel worksheet. And one way we can do that is by simply um, checking the amount of rows that we have in this data set. We could easily do that by hitting the control and down arrow, which will take us to our last row. And in the city of Chicago data portal, it let us know that this data set should have roughly about 260,000 rows. And we can see here we have about 264,000. So we can safely assume that all the data was imported properly, at least from the row count. Another way we can check that is by, by doing the column count. City of Chicago data portal let us know that we should have about 22 columns and we can see that we have 22. And lastly, we want to make sure that all the data types were imported properly. So some of the data types we should have in this data set would be numerical value, which we can see here in the ID column. Uh, we should also have date and time data type, which we can see we have in the date column. We should also have textual data, which we can see here in multiple columns. And we should have um, coordinates data types. And we can see that in our latitude, longitude, as well as location. So by looking at the row count, column count, as well as the data types, then we could confirm that the data was imported properly from the city of Chicago data portal to this Excel spreadsheet. Next thing we want to do now is we want to just start cleaning the data. And one simple way of cleaning the data is just by eliminating all unnecessary rows or rows that would not bring value to your project, nor are needed uh, for the inferences that you make in regards to the project. So some rows that we can eliminate, our first one would be ID. While ID, it, this, this column, looks like it's a primary key column. And now a primary key column is important, especially when we look at relational databases, because it helps the um, data get stored properly. But when it comes to visualizing the data, this is a non-value added column. We don't need primary key columns, so we can delete this. Also, we can delete the case number, not needed. Um, we can look at the block column. While the block column could have been important, as we can see, there's some data that's missing. It lets us know the street that the um, crime took place, but it doesn't let us know the exact location. So we can delete that. Also, we could delete the IUCR column. Be honest with you, I have no idea what this column even is, but I could easily go back and refer to the City of Chicago uh, website and look at the description for this specific column, but I do know we're not gonna need it. So I can delete that. Also, de arrest domestic beat, we can delete. And now the districts, ward, and community area columns these three columns are highly correlated. So we only need one of the three. And we're actually gonna choose the community area column. Now the reason why we're gonna choose a community area column is because after looking at the City of Chicago Data Portal website, a lot of data sets actually have this column, the community area column within it. So we're gonna keep this, and this is gonna be the main column we're gonna to use to join other data sets, and we'll consider that in the next video. FBI code, we don't need. XY coordinates, while they are important, um, we don't need them because we have the latitude, longitude, and the location, which gives us the exact location of where the crime took place. So we can delete that. Also, we can delete year and update it on. We know that all the crimes were committed in 2015 because it's a 2015 crime data set. And we really don't care unless it was updated because it's all archival historical data. So we can delete both. And now we went from 22 columns to roughly about, about eight. So we're able to drastically eliminate 
um, the uh, eliminate a lot of columns which in turn would eliminate a lot of unnecessary data we need to import into Tableau. So after cleaning the data, next thing we want to do is now we want to look at some ways we can manipulate the data set, this data set within, tab, within Excel. And one way we could manipulate the data is just by looking at a key column that we're going to be using for moving forward within Tableau to visualize our data. And I think our most important column in this data set is our primary type, or in other words, is our crime type, the type of crime that was committed. As you can see here within this column, there's a lot of repetitive data. So what's one way, what's something that we can do to remove all the, or just to look at all the unique values or to see how many unique values we're, we have to play around with in this data set? Well, one way we can do it is simply by copying that column and pasting it in a new worksheet. Next, we can turn that column into a table. Then we can remove our duplicates. So now, as we can see, we're only working. There's only 34 unique values or unique primary types. So now what can we do to enhance this, this, this column even more? Well, one thing we can do is let's, let's consider grouping them. And let's group them by whether the crime that was committed was violent or nonviolent. And we can do something as simple as grouping just by creating a new column. And we'll call this column violent and nonviolent. And now we're just going to go and we're going to associate each crime or primary type to either if it was violent or nonviolent. So there's going to be some assumptions that we're going to have to make. Now assumptions aren't bad. We just got to make sure that the assumptions that are made are logical. So let's go and manually put in if put in the if the primary type or the crime type was violent or nonviolent. So we notice, of course, we wanted all the unique values, but if we notice here we can see that these values aren't unique, but Excel believes that they're unique because they're different. As we can see, one actually has spaces, spaces before and after the hyphen, while one does not. We know that it's the same thing. So what's one way or what's something that we can do in order to find in our previous data set all of the values that do not have spaces and replace them with the ones that have spaces. One simple thing we can do is let's just look at, let's do find and replace. So let's tell Excel to find, we'll find all the values that do not have spaces and we'll replace them with the value non-criminal values that actually do have spaces. Oops. Perfect. And we'll have them find and replace it in this worksheet because this is a worksheet that matters. So perfect. So as you can see, it replaced, there were 16 values without spaces and replaced them all to the ones with spaces. Perfect. So now let's finish up. We don't need this. So we'll delete. And now we'll consider this a nonviolent. Perfect. So now we were able to just group all the primary types, either through a violent or nonviolent. So now how can we take this data and put it into this worksheet? Because this is a worksheet that we're going to be importing into Tableau. Well, something we can do is let's insert a column after primary type and let's call this new column violent and not violent now ask ourselves what's the best and most efficient way for us to now group these primary types here in this worksheet would it, will we make the most efficient use of our time if we go in and we manually input each value as if it was violent or nonviolent. Now remember, we have over 260,000 rows. 
It was a long time. Fortunately for us, Excel created a key function that we're all familiar with that we can use to put in, to fill in the, all these values underneath this violent, nonviolent column. And that function is actually VLOOKUP. What VLOOKUP will do is it will take a look at the table that we just created and it would let us know, for instance, if battery is a violent or nonviolent crime. So the lookup value will be battery. Let's go to the table that we just created. Uh, so my reason it's not converting as a table. So let's do this. Let's go back. Let's convert this table to a range. Convert it back to a range. And then now we will create the table once more. Perfect. Now let's see if this works. Let's do VLOOKUP again. And the value would be battery. And then now our table will be this perfect. Table 2. And now we wanted to re we wanted to fill in either if it was violent or nonviolent. So our column index number will be two. And we want exact matches, so we'll do false. So let's see if this works. Perfect, and it does. So it associated battery as a violent crime. Since we created the formula, we'll have Excel do the rest for us. We'll drag and drop it, and voila. Now it grouped all of our primary types, either if it was violent or nonviolent. So why is this important? Well, just by creating this simple column, we're able to not only be able to enhance our visualizations once we import into Tableau, but we'll be able to make different visualizations. So now we can ask ourselves, and our first we can make is, are there more violent crimes that are committed in low-income communities in comparison to high-income communities? And we could easily visualize that through a scatter plot, see the correlation. Um, possibilities are definitely endless. And again, this is only possible by us just taking the time out to manipulate the data and add a new column in here. And again, we'll consider that in our preceding videos.